if anyone could be called oligarchs, you could call the Chamorros. They've had more presidents in Nicaragua's history than, than any other family. Cristiana Chamorro had needed to comply with the new law about reporting uh, on sources and use of funds from outside of the country. And she kept refusing to do this. Her, her statement about what she was doing was rather bizarre. She said that the U.S. State Department said that, you know, we're not laundering money based on the audits that they did and there's no diversion of funds. So it's like she forgets what country she lives in. She's so beholden to the United States that she thinks that she living in Nicaragua and conducting business in Nicaragua, that she needs to just comply with what the State Department says. And so actually what she did when these new laws were passed was um, she said that she wouldn't comply and she would shut down her organization. But what she did was still take money and she deposited $7 million into her own account. And as it became, as it was getting closer um, to the government actually arresting her, she realized that they were serious. And so her last ditch effort was to say, I'm a presidential candidate. You know, there's some people were saying then when that came out, like she was going to be the new Juan Guaido, maybe she was going to um, self-proclaim herself president. But this is somebody who is not even officially part of any legally registered party. It would not have been feasible for her to have been a candidate. You know, she not only had not declared as a candidate, she wasn't even part of a party. And this, this pre-candidate is something that the State Department must have made up and told her to say. And then a few other people who got arrested around the same time also came up with that fictitious figure of pre-candidates. So that's the that's the, the person who would have, according to the U.S. State Department, who was Danielle Ortega's big competition. This is somebody who who was not even a politician, somebody who didn't even have a political party.